All right, guys. Um, just doing a little guide here. Um, just in case anybody wanted to, you know, try to recreate the build or whatnot. Um, you know how to craft these items. So I pretty much did a imbued one with 40% uh, more spell damage from Shaper. And on Elder, I did um, the 20 efficacy and slam those together. I crafted on Cannot Roll Caster Mod and Exalt Slam Annulled until I got the 40% more attack damage. Then I locked my prefixes, reforged speed once I got one of the mods I was looking for. Um, exalt Slam. I did Cannot Roll Attack and then Exalt Slam. Then crafted on the attack and cast. Um, I mean, honestly, I could put plus two support here as well you know and I just you know get plus two but I'm gonna have it like that for now um, and I have spell damage and attack damage here because with these specters they do um, like an AOE slam a charge and stuff like that and they also have a mortar and the mortar is the spell damage I'm testing them out with uh, with being only defensive with my meat shield support here versus not being defensive where you know they charge and whatnot and it's it's decent damage all around um, for the helmet plus two level fracture and you want to use definite essence of loathing to get the mana reservation and I hit that until I got uh, a decent ant roll and I locked my suffix, reforged defense, and that gave me the ES recharge rate. I uh, used my Elders currency to finish crafting the prefixes. And previously I had ES crafted here, but I uh, opted in for a little bit more physical damage reduction <clears throat> or physical damage taken from hits as an element or chaos, as you can see on the implicits. We have PDR taken as um, as chaos, and I have the same here for the shield taken as chaos. The boots pain in my ass. Um, had the chaos spam until I got raised specter and exalt or null until I got suppressed. And this is like my sixth time breaking them, so I just took the six percent and left it at that. Um, once you get the suppressed and the raised specter gems you want to lock your suffixes and reforge chaos that's going to guarantee you that desecrate elder mod on the prefix and then you go for your um your elevate hopefully you hit the specters if you do you lock your suffix you will hit it with a aisling not aisling um a veil chaos and unveil and then you craft on mana and exalt slam to get your uh, evasion and ES. Maybe not the best way, but that's the way that I did it. For the gloves here, increase ES fracture. You want to hit it with um, essence of fear, and that'll give you the main damage until you get a, a decent tier of energy shield. Once you do that, you can craft the rest um, with your Elders Currency. I want to add an ES regen, and then I craft it on Spell Suppress because we're tight on Spell Suppression. I wanted this build to be as tanky as possible without having to get rid of the armor and go to like a straight int base. Um, for the armor, Global Defense is Fractured, Essence of Loathing, until you get a decent uh, spell suppressed here then you lock your suffix reforge physical and that's going to give you that PDR or it's going to give you uh, the, the physical on the prefix so you just do that until you get the PDR uh, then you use your Elgis currency to craft the rest of it Here are the clusters.
and I'm using this right here to boost the damage a little bit the damage over time since these are uh, they're doing chaos damage and I have another one here that goes in just for Boston um, it 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 feels a lot better with Boston but for mapping soul eater just you can't beat that um, <clears throat> For this jewel here with this seed, we're picking up 80% here, 80% here, and 80% here. We also have aura effect, we have increased armor, and we have spell suppression. So for me, this was like the best jewel for me to have. Um, you could also pick up 80% increase maximum million life. Uh, I might do that if I go for level 100. Then we'll pick that up. But um, for the charms, we have reservation efficiency and ES regen. ES regen, same thing here. And we have ES regen and onslaught. Uh, we're really tight on on mana like it's it's ridiculous I had to path down here to pick up a little bit more mana reservation and I picked up leadership and I picked up foresight here for a little bit more ES um, Ray Specter added chaos and power these specters are now level 33 Minion life, meat shield, raise zombie, just for them to have some shit to beat on while you're killing them. And AG, on the AG, I use Kingmaker. I use um, minus 12 chaos res for her enemies nearby. I use uh, the garb from Cortex. I use wind scream with regenerate 100 life while moving. And I use Astronaut Mark for temporal chains. In the Squire, I use Meat Shield to make sure that these are defensive. That way, they're constantly spamming that mortar, uh, minion damage, and GMP. I wanted to test out using uh, Awakened Spell Echo. Uh, I haven't done that yet, though. Here, Enlighten, Convocation. Generosity and malevolence. Carrying golem for PDR. Feeding frenzy, despair, and flame dash. I got more PDR here. That's why I'm using taste of hate. Otherwise, I would use like bottled faith or something like that. Um, yeah, curses, regen life. That regen life is because of Zelda's oath here. Um, increased armor. And I'm using this because if I'm not using this flash, it'll take me down to like 72% spell suppression. So I'm using that for perma phasing, and with perma phasing, you get a free 8% spell suppression. So it is, you know, it's not bad. But yeah, this is the bill. Um, uh, with the ring, I crafted it. This, I got the uh, minion still increased damage fracture and I use bound fossils I use pristine fossils and I use shuddering fossils and this is what it came up with it's not the best but I didn't want to have to go through that shit again so I put on Calandra's touch because I'm not crafting two of those like that that was insane it took me a long time um, and plus the price for fossils are just out of whack right now, especially if you try to buy a shuttering in bulk. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Like it's like two to one, two to one dev. Uh, yep. This I would love to get a uh, Razor Spectre one with um, Max Ellie Res instead of the attributes. But after breaking like six or seven of them, you know, we just gonna hang tight and use this. <laughs> I'm going to try later to put the support gems mod on here and see how that goes. I just didn't feel like uh, raising my specters again. The specters are cheap. They're like 50 C each. 
like 50 to 80 siege, which is not bad, and they do really decent damage. And um, yeah, this is the guy, guys. Um, you got any questions?